Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nate, and today we're going to go into an in-depth review of the Magic Store. And we're going to ask the question, how the Magic Store is bridging the gap between the amount of internet users that we currently have and the amount of blockchain users, where it's about tenfold, even 15 folds the amount of users. And we all know that internet, you know, we use it much more than we're currently using blockchain. Of course, not everyone, but the overall majority of People. Okay, so we're going to talk about that and we're going to be talking about a lot of important features that we've added and functionalities and uh, new technology that we've created inside the store to help bridge this gap. Okay, so let's get started. Hope you guys are uh, excited as I am to talk about this and to finally, you know, get this thing uh, started with all of the users to our beta version and finally getting this magic store live. So let's get started. First of all, Current problems with blockchain web three and dApps. Number one is that it's complex. It's hard to use and to understand for the majority of human beings. Now, what do I mean by that? The first thing is if I want, for example, okay, just as a user, I know that there's a thing called play to earn games. I can earn money by playing games. How do I currently search for the best play to earn games? Usually I'll go to internet. I'll say uh, the best play to earn games. Okay, I go to Google, I'll find all these different websites where they're mostly affiliated, right? How do I know how to trust these websites? That's the number one question. Number two, how to know again that they're not affiliated with these projects and they're not really showing me the best results. They're just showing me whoever pays them the most, all right? So that's the second question. And third, how do I know what status these games are in? How much do I earn from them? Do I actually need to now log in and start playing all of these games and searching? And it's going to take me weeks and weeks to understand what is the best play to earn Games. I don't have any feedback from anywhere except from this place where I don't really know how can I trust it, okay? But let's say I go with this, right? And I start doing my research and I want to uh, play, for example, uh, Pegaxi. So I do play Pegaxi, I click the link. Now it opens me in an external browser with the game. Let's say I want to click play now. It opens me another browser, which in this browser, again, I need to connect my wallet. So, so many steps. It's so confusing. I mean, I want to use this one, then I want to use this one. I mean, okay, only here I got tired until here. Now, let's explain this to someone who doesn't even know what a wallet is, right? I mean, he's going to get totally confused. So, that's one issue, right? And it's not only with uh, play to earn games, with everything related to crypto, whether it's NFT platforms, staking, whatever, anything uh, that's in Web3 and blockchain, okay? So, that's number one. Number two, as we've said, trust issues and numerous scams. How do I know that I can trust these play to earn games, these dApps, uh, and so on and so forth. Number three is there's currently a lot of advertising issues for dApps. So there could be the best uh, play to earn game for me or the best staking platform, you know, for my uh, purposes, but most of them can't advertise on social media or direct marketing because these social media giants are blocking anything related to crypto. Okay, that's number three. And number four, earning money through blockchain products. How do I do it in the best way possible? And we're going to be talking about all of these things and how there's an overall feeling of there's something missing. Okay, there's something missing that can bridge this gap between the amount of internet users and the amount of blockchain users. When the Web 2 was starting to kind of uh, pop up and it, people started watching, what, uh, you know, reading websites and reading news and stuff like that, uh, then came Facebook, right? And then came WhatsApp and Instagram, and then it started connecting me to all these users to start using the internet. Well, blockchain and, and Web3, it, there is still, there's the same overall uh, feeling of there's something missing, and that's exactly the importance of this video. So stay tuned with me because I'll explain exactly how everything is going to be connected for you guys at the end of this video. So let's get started. First of all, we talked about the problems. Now let's talk about the solution. So as you can see, this beautiful design of the Magic Store. The idea is for any new user that comes into the crypto space, everything that's related to crypto will be here. We have the Apple Store, we have Google Play, which are uh, current application stores, but we don't have anything like that for crypto, which is exactly what the Magic Store is here to solve. So if I'm a user, I want to start, you know, seeing all of these different dApps. First of all, I get to see them in a very uh, easy to understand way: top NFT marketplaces, top uh, exchanges, hot and fresh. And when there's top, the word top or the, the highest ranked and stuff like that, since it's a community-driven crypto app store, which I'll show you in just a second, the community is the one that's giving the reviews and the scores and the validations for these dApps, 
Okay, so we talked about trust issues. Well, here in the Magic Store, every single one of these dApps, you can see whether it's verified or not. What does it mean, verified? Okay, let's click on one of these dApps. When you see verified, it means that there's external val validators, okay, that go through numerous tests to become validators on the Magic Store. It's external validators, so it's that's why it's decentralized. It's a decentralized organization where there's the, the these validators are, of course, earning money for validating these dApps, but they're checking from A to Z, that they're trustworthy, they're not scams, that the smart contracts work, and that everything is working properly. So that's regarding verified and not verified. Let's go back and even uh, use the search bar over here, okay? And let's say, for example, I want, to, uh, I want the best swap, okay? So automatically, the search will show me everything that has the word swap in it. And let's say I want to click on baby swap, all right? Now, I get all the information regarding baby swap, and I can uh, see the token statistics, what's new. And let's do another example, then we'll continue on just so you guys can see the uh, variety of searches, not only for swaps and stuff. Of course, we, only, we also have uh, games, say Axie Infinity. And here I can see also the reviews of different users. So they can give them uh, user scores. I can see the reviews and everything will be here. The, the reason that you don't see reviews currently is because as I've said, this is gonna be live in about a week. So I'm showing you guys this video is kind of the last video showing everything before this project finally goes live. And if you haven't signed up yet, then of course, I'll show you how to do that uh, at the end. And you can check out the, the links in the description of this video to do so, okay? So you can see the user score, the validator score, all the different information regarding it, pictures, reviews, token statistics, as we've said. Now, the beauty here is that I, as a user, can organize my personal crypto experience in what's called in the technology that we've created, which is called personal space, the magic space, okay? Which as you can see is over here. The idea of the magic space is to organize everything that I'm using that's in blockchain, web three, crypto related into my space. So for example, if I'm using certain swaps, if I'm using certain play to earn games, certain exchanges, everything will be here that I can organize, I can remove, for my space, I can organize it very, very simple way. And I can also use these different widgets that creators, which we're gonna be talking about in just a second, uh, just like WordPress, for example, where creators can create, or Shopify, creators can create their own widgets where you as users can uh, use them, whether it's news, crypto uh, stories, different projects, and so on and so forth. And that's regarding the widgets and the different depths. Now, here's a very important thing. When I use a certain depth, and I click on it. With a click of a button, it opens inside of the Magic Store. As I've showed you with the different websites, it doesn't open in an external browser. It opens inside of the store itself, which is one important thing. But the more important thing is that when I'm logged into the Magic Store, I'm logged in with what's called the Magic ID. When I sign up, I connect my wallets, I connect everything, all of my personal information that I want uh, to show. And when I'm starting to use all these different dApps, I'm already gonna be connected with my wallet or different wallets that I've already connected to the Magic Square, okay? So it's gonna be a much easier and smooth process to start using all of these different dApps, play to earn game exchanges through one single place, okay? And that's the idea, that's what we talked about, complexity, hard to use and to understand. Here, everything's gonna be in one place. It's gonna be very, very easy because it's one click of a button. You don't need to connect a million times in a million different browsers. And more importantly, as we've said with number two, trust issues and numerous scams. Here, there's external validators that are validating every single one of these dApps. And you can see exactly the amount of scores, the amount of reviews, and the amount of, uh, you know, the, the overall score that the validators gave these different dApps, whether it's exchanges, as we said, NFT marketplaces, play to earn games, wallets, every single thing. Okay, very, very important. So that's regarding that. That's regarding the spaces where I can organize my crypto experience in one single place with the magic ID. As we've said, I can connect to everything with one click of a button. And the last uh, kind of feature over here, which we're going to have different features we, over here with the karma and the use to earn concept, which we'll go over in just a second. But we've talked about number three, advertising issues for dApps and also earning money through blockchain products. So advertising for dApps, here's how we're going to solve. Okay, we've created a Web3 and blockchain affiliate network, a fully decentralized uh, f um, uh, crypto affiliate network for blockchain and Web3 projects, where as an affiliate, I can log in, 
can go to a marketplace, for example. I can see all of these different offers that I can start promoting. I can start, uh, I can start earning money, basically, for generating traffic to these different offers. I have my dashboard, as we said. You can see how many clicks, leads, how many sales, how many payouts. As you can see, monthly, for example, $78 by referring users to these different offers. And it's a very, very single, uh, simple process, right? Simply click Promote Now. And I have my... Uh, my uh, visitor ID, which is my affiliate link, my unique link. Then I have my report system where I can see exactly how many leads I generated, as you can see, uh, from each country. This is an example. I can see uh, how many leads over here. So there's a lot of different reports. I created a different video about this. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all of these reports here. Just to give you an overall idea that we've created a, a, a huge breakthrough in the advertising for all of these different dApps where as we've said you know in uh, general social media giants they're getting blocked they're having very hard times to market themselves and here is finally a solution for all these dApps and for users to start earning money through referring these projects and we see a lot on twitter on telegram hey join this project but if I, uh, am I, if I'm an influencer, I have a YouTube channel, for example, a Twitter account or Instagram or TikTok, and I want to start referring people and earning money from it, I can do so by getting my affiliate link, going to my dashboard in the Magic Square, uh, in the Magic Store, and start earning money from all of these different referrals. So that's solving number three and four. And the last thing that I want to show you, okay? And again, we have different videos talking exactly about how to use the affiliate network, how to register, and so on and so forth. So check that out on our YouTube channel. Notifications, we can see every important notification over here. And the last thing is Karma. So let's go back to the store. Let's click over here on Karma. In the light paper, if you've read the Magic Squares light paper, we've explained that we've created a fully new concept which is called the use to earn concept. Where as a user, if I'm using this store, if I'm giving reviews on dApps, if I'm sharing, if I'm liking, giving reviews, my karma score, which could be also like a credit score, you know, uh, just to, an overall score for your user uh, experience to get people, of course, more engaged, but also to get people the option to earn money by using the platform. Okay, you, if you're using the platform, you're reviewing and you're liking and you're sharing and you're commenting and you're validating, you want to earn money for doing all this. Okay, your time equals money. And that's exactly why we've created this use to earn content. So by doing a lot of these different things, you earn money. You can collect your rewards with a click of a button, as you can see over here, and it goes automatically to your wallet. Okay, very, very simple process. You can see the history of the leaderboard. You can see who's... Uh, the best, uh, who's earning the most money, uh, which users and so on and so forth. So that's kind of to get people more engaged. And so, and that's regarding the use to earn cost. Again, everything is in our light paper and different videos. This is just an overall kind of video. Now, last thing that I want to show you before we get to the staking, because it connects to the staking. Let's say I want to go again to a certain DAP. Okay. For every single one of these DAPs, we have a, that's, of course, that's an, uh, that has the option. We have what's called a staking uh, option right through the magic store. So if we're in a single, in a certain DAP page, the magic store will automatically select that specific token. And because I already connected with my magic ID, it's going to remember the different wallets. I don't need to connect to them again. And I can stake any token that I want with a single click of a button i get to see all of the information over here i can click on stake and then automatically everything will work with a single click of a button with all of these different tokens and projects instead of having so many different staking platforms the magic store is going to show you the best options that you currently have in the market to stake and instead of if i want for example to stake a, something that's on solana but i want to also stake in this wall something that's on uh Avalanche, and then I want something on BNB chain and so on and so forth. Here, because it's multi-chain, you'll be able to do it in one place with a single click of a button. Very simple. So that's going to transform the staking functionality. Last thing that I want to show you is over here on top. You can also choose because we see ourselves as a layer zero. Okay, there's layer one, layer two, and layer three. We see ourselves as a layer zero to kind of 
allow everyone to see how everything is working inside of the store. And you as a user can choose if you want. For example, all dApps that are on the BNB chain. Click BNB, it will show you everything that's on BNB. If you see uh, check uh, Solana, all the dApps that are on Solana chain. Avalanche is Polygon, so on and so forth. Okay, so you'll be able to also, you know, simplify your personal experience searching for these dApps and using them uh, based on the chains that you want. Okay, so as we're going that, last thing. I know that I'm saying last thing for a few things, but as you see, we've created, we've worked on this very hard for the past year and a half, created so many different functions to make it as easy as possible for users uh, to use uh, blockchain products. And as we said, to bridge this gap between the amount of uh, internet users and blockchain users. So this is probably, yeah, the last thing I'm going to show you. Uh, you can see here the personal uh, profile of the user. So if this is, uh, if I registered, I'll see the information that I have. I'll see my magic connect that we've said. Okay, that's been verified. I can see the magic karma, the different things that I've earned money on and how much. Here I can see all the dApps that, I've, that I'm using, that I've added to my space. Okay, I can, log, I can open them uh, through my personal profile. If I click on DeFi, I can see exactly my staking pool, how much money I'm earning currently and what am I staking, except profits uh, with a single click of a button over here. Now, if I'm a creator and I'm, a developer and developing dApps, I can see all the different dApps that I've uploaded to the Magic Store. Okay, so here is a very simple process of that. And if I want to upload a dApp, I can do so very, very simply through the Magic Store with six simple steps, which take about an hour and a half to do, maybe even an hour if you're quick. Okay, my website link, email link, and so on and so forth. So that's very, very simple for new. Um, creators to upload their devs, uh, similar to the Google experience and the Apple experience. Now, as we said, there's validators, so there's external validators. We have a separate video talking about uh, validators in the Magic Store, how uh, to pass these different tests, what is a standard validator, what is a qualified validator. What's important for you guys is to understand that this is a decentralized organization, a DAO, okay? So for everything and everything that's posted here on the Magic Store, every DAO, it goes through an external validation process. We're not the ones that are checking the depths. There's external validators that are doing so and making and giving the scores and doing the reviews. And that's why we call ourselves market neutral. We allow the community to vote. We allow the community to give reviews. We allow the communities to give the scores on every single DAP that is on the Magic Store. So you as users, can see a neutral point of view for everything that you want to use. And, co and going back to uh, what we said in the beginning, okay, the complexity hard to use and to understand, everything will be so easy to use because everything will be in one place and all the reviews and all the scores and all the comments, you won't need to, to spend weeks and weeks uh, researching about every single project that you want to use, whether it's a certain wallet, okay, whether it's a certain exchange, whether it's a certain NFT marketplace. And again, all of this is to bridge the gap between the current amount of users that are using the internet and the current amount of users that are using blockchain. We hope that you're as excited as we are with this mission. And we hope that you are as engaged as we are getting people to understand how important is blockchain technology and how important is decentralization in our world. And we'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to you to try uh, the Magic Store out. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us down below in the comments, to our mail, in our Discord. All of the different links will be down below. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.